Hi, this is Marie from Legacy Publishing. Welcome to the latest edition of our video newsletter. In our last video, we explored the use of historical price data to select option time length. In today's video, we are going to explore the use of the option cycle strategy to select an option strike price. Chuck, can you tell us how you use the option cycle strategy to select an option strike price? Marie, when I decide to purchase an option, the first step is to select the time length for the option using historical price data. I must then decide on a strike price. Selecting a strike price can be difficult as there are so many strike prices available. For example, currently the Apple July options have 55 different strike price choices. I normally select an option with an in the money strike price. In the money options have less time value and more intrinsic value than out of the money options. We will learn in this video that purchasing an in the money call has a much higher probability of success than purchasing an out of the money call. The value of an option consists of time value and intrinsic value. At option expiration, options lose all time value and consist of only intrinsic value. An in the money call option is comprised of both time value and intrinsic value. The deeper an option is in the money, the more intrinsic value it will have. Out of the money options consist of only time value. When you purchase an option, the time value portion of an option is a decaying asset. Therefore, the goal is to maximize intrinsic value and minimize time value when you purchase an option. The best way to achieve this goal is to purchase in the money options with low time value. Chuck, can you show us an example of an out of the money option purchase versus an in the money purchase so we can understand the differences? Marie, yes, let's look at an example of an out of the money purchase first. This option quote shows that the Apple July 185 strike call option is currently trading at 315 points. Apple stock is trading at 173, so purchasing the 185 strike call would be considered an out of the money call purchase as the strike price is above the current price of the stock. This option premium would consist of all time value and no intrinsic value. The break even price for this call option purchase would be a stock price of 188.15 at option expiration in about one month. Apple stock price would have to increase 14.9 points or 8.6% in order to break even on this trade. Let's take a look at an example of the historical price data utilized by the option cycle strategy. Here is an example of historical price data for Apple stock in 2007. Let's make some assumptions using this historical data to illustrate the differences between in the money and out of the money options. Let's assume we purchase a one month out of the money call option each month on option expiration day similar to the Apple 185 strike call option just presented. This one month call option would be purchased on option expiration day each month, held for one month, and then sold on option expiration day the following month. The Apple 185 strike out of the money call required an 8.6% increase in Apple stock price at option expiration in order to break even. The 2007 option expiration price data table allows us to project how many months in 2007 would be profitable based on a 8.6% increase in Apple stock price to break even. 
we can see from the price data for 2007 that there were six months that the Apple stock increased 8.6% or more. So we would, have, we would have had six winning trades and six losing trades in 2007. Now most of the losing trades would have resulted in a total loss of the option premium. And in 2006, there would have been two profitable trades and 10 losing trades. Now these assumptions are just approximations, but they can give us a pretty good idea of the accuracy of purchasing out of the money calls during this two year time period. Let's look at an example of an in the money call option purchase. This option quote shows that the Apple July 150 strike call options are currently trading at 24.60 points. Apple stock is trading at 173. So purchasing the 150 strike call would be considered an in the money call purchase as the strike price is below the current price of the stock. This call option purchase calculator shows that this in the money call option consists of 1.35 points of time value and 23.25 points of intrinsic value. The time value of this one month option is only 7 tenths of 1% of the current stock price. Apple stock would only have to increase 1.35 points or less than 1% for this trade to break even. This in the money call option trade with a less than 1% break even would have a much higher probability of being profitable than the out of the money trade example with an 8.6% break even. Let's take another look at the Apple option expiration price data for 2007. Let's assume we purchase a one month in the money call option each month similar to the Apple 150 strike call option just presented. The in the money call requires a 7 tenths of 1% increase in Apple stock price at option expiration in order to break even. The 2007 option expiration price data allows us to project how many months in 2007 would be profitable based on a 7 tenths of 1% increase in Apple stock price to the break even price. The table shows that purchasing a monthly in the money call option in 2007 would have resulted in nine profitable trades and three trades with a 25% loss. Five of these winning trades would result in more than a 100% return. This compares favorably to the previous out of the money example which had six trades with a total loss of the premium. Now one of the big advantages of in the money call option purchase is that it enables us to employ our money management rules of limiting losses by exiting losing trades with a 25% loss preventing a total loss of our trading capital. These trade examples clearly demonstrate that trading in the money options results in higher accuracy trading and reduces risk considerably compared to trading out of the money options. This provides the best overall risk reward profile for option trading. This call option purchase analysis also displays the profit potential for the Apple in the money call option purchase. Notice that a substantial stock price move is not required to produce a large option profit. A 10% stock price increase would result in a 64% option return and a 15% stock increase would result in a 100% option return. So to summarize, this table lists the advantages of trading in the money calls. I hope our viewers were able to gain some insights into high accuracy option trading. I want to thank everyone for viewing and I am looking forward to our next presentation.